Yeah, Jeff, the Erie County Executive Mark Poland Cars is under the spotlight right now after an affidavit became public. The affidavit details events on January 29th when a process server went to his house with a lawsuit. And all the times I've been in office, I've never been personally served. I've always been serviced through our county attorney's office. On this affidavit, the process server claims after knocking on the county executive's front door several times, they went to another door, knocked, then heard Poland cars yell, you're lucky I didn't shoot you. I'm not going to go into particulars. I can tell you right now that we were not standing near each other. And what I did see is she had a mask on. So I didn't exactly know. I, just leave it at that. Then the plaintiff says Poland cars told them the sheriff's office was on the way before saying, get off of my property before I shoot you. On Thursday, I asked Poland Cars about that allegation. How do you respond to allegations that you threatened to shoot someone? Uh, this has already been answered by my team. Uh, there is a pending litigation that's ongoing that, and, and what this is relation to. Uh, I didn't. As simple as that. I'm not going to go into the particulars associated with the situation. We already went out there and, and, and talked about the, the matter in general. Uh, I'm disappointed. Poland Car says the case has been assigned to a judge with arguments set for next month. Just let the attorneys go from there. There's two sides to every story. Uh, I'm disappointed in how the whole situation went down. Pullman Carr says this is not the first time an incident like this has happened at his home. I've had incidents at my house, including my house broken into before, in which I actually had to chase somebody out of my house. And Poland Carr says in addition to his house being broken into, he's also received multiple death threats that he describes as serious. He says right now he has a sheriff's deputy with him for security. Live from the newsroom, Natalie Fami, 7 News. All right, thank you, Natalie.